Hey guys, this is John from Hulko Metrology Solutions and in today's video tutorial I wanted to show you an easy way that you can select a large number of features when you are compositing a constructed step together. And usually this happens right after a copy step when you have a lot of features that you're trying to join together. And to demonstrate what I'm talking about I'm going to show you on a circle because that's usually where I run into this problem. So I've already measured two points on the circle uh, just to give me a rough idea where it is. And I'm going to measure a third point and done. Okay, so here I've got a, a situation where I need to join steps together. And when there's only three, it's pretty simple because you can just click on each one individually and there you go. Not much to it. Um, but maybe I want more points than three. Maybe I want to measure the roundness of the circle and I want to get a lot of data all the way around. In which case I'm going to set this to zero and then I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy step around and get a lot of steps. So uh, to make this easier to see I'm just going to come to that constructed initial circle and hide it because I'm going to get another one and I don't want to, to overlap. Okay so I'm going to switch to feature finder and I'm going to measure this uh, first step and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this as if I was measuring a line. So um, the reason I want to do that is, is because this, this arc, I'm zoomed in so far on this circle that it it's doesn't even resemble an arc anymore. It almost looks like a bent line. So I'm going to measure it like a line. And I'm going to make sure that I... Uh, move my rough smooth slider down because if it's set to smooth you're only going to get a few points in the middle because you know it's expecting a line so if you bump that down to rough a little bit uh, you get data points all the way around uh, you also want to be sure that when you drag your line uh, you don't go especially if you're starting off horizontally like I am you don't want to go all the way to the ends of the window because uh, even though that fits this way as you start copying it around and the line starts going vertical, that's not going to fit in your video. So uh, make sure that it, uh, it's small enough so that it can, uh, it can rotate 360 degrees and still fit. Okay, so I got my first line there and now I need to copy that. So I'm going to uh, hit copy and I'm going to click on that line and that line was uh, six so it tells me that up here last step was six and I want to remember that uh, we're going to use that later okay so I'm going to decide I want a lot of steps so I think that I'm going to have a, a measurement every 15 degrees and that's going to give me uh, 24 all the way around I've already measured one so I'm going to need 23 more I want to make sure that I am in polar mode and then hit OK and that gives me the rest of my lines. So um, I can run it from, from here, but I'm going to skip that step to save time. Uh, but here's, here's the problem now. I have to m easily uh, join all these together. You know? and, and what a lot of people come and they'll do is they'll start clicking on these guys. Oops, I better say uh, construct circle first. And they'll start clicking on these one by one. Well, that's just time consuming and tedious. And if you've got a hundred of them, man, it's going to take all day. Wouldn't it be great if there was an easier way to do it? And the answer to that is, is yes, that would be great. Come on. Seriously. That's what this video tutorial is about. Okay. So what we're going to do is, uh, is do that. We're going to show you an easy way to join them together. Now, remember, I said we had to uh, make a mental note of that step number that we uh, started with. And what was it? That was six. So uh, that's where I wanted to start. So to select these steps all at once, you hold down the shift key on your keyboard and you click right here where the button says features. And if you shift click that, it brings up this little window where I can now type in from step six and then a dash to the last step. Now what's the last step? I'm going to look at the top and the current step is 30. So that's my constructed feature. So I want to do the step prior so it would be 29. And when I click OK there it's selected for me all 24 steps. And of course don't forget you want to hit composite and then done. Okay? So that's a real quick and easy way to do it. Now 
I'm going to delete that step because I want to show you another way. And uh, maybe you forgot what step number you started with. Okay, so that could happen. Uh, if I'm going to come in here and construct a circle and it's like, oop, I forgot what step uh, I started with. So that might be a little tricky. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to be able to save uh, this step. So to do that, I'm going to click one feature and hit composite. Now you could click more, you could you know, click as many as you want, but you need at least you know enough features that you can click done to the step. So that gets you part of the way there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select the remaining features a different way by going to file, print edit, and we're going to come down to the very end where we just constructed that circle and select it so that it turns yellow. Now we're going to switch to standard view and expand that out. And you'll see that there's an icon at the lower left corner that says reference features. And it shows you which step numbers that we clicked on. But we need to click more. So we're going to click on the icon. And that switches us back to condensed view. And it allows us to select in this list what step numbers uh, we want for this construction. And the ones that I had selected are shown in blue. Uh, so I'm going to override those right now by clicking on the step that I want to begin. And in this condensed view, it makes it pretty easy to tell because uh, I've got a bunch of lines all in a row, and the very first one is the one I want to start with. And then I've selected that one feature, it's blue. Now I can hold down the shift key again, uh, much like you would if you were selecting multiple rows or cells in Excel and I'm going to shift click the step where I want it to end. So that would be 29. And so that will highlight all those rows and it will also enter those step numbers in the reference feature box. And uh, if you want, if you need to, uh, you can hold down the control key now and individually toggle steps on or off uh, and that will add or remove them from the list. But since I want uh, all of them, I'm going to leave them all turned blue. And then when you're done, you're going to click this little icon to the right in the reference features frame. And that will uh, finish that selection mode. And then you can click OK. Now to make sure that it actually did it, we're going to come back into step 30. And we're going to see that 24 uh, features were selected that way. And then I have my answer for uh, my diameter. So those are two little tricks to easily select multiple features and uh, if you go and you try this on your software and you cannot get that to work it's probably because you have a little bit older version of software uh, this showed up in ver version 14 I think 14.2 somewhere uh, so if you can't get this to work I really highly recommend you uh, uh, invest in an upgrade for your software uh, because these are really two big time-saving tips all right hope that helps and have a great one.